Stay champs, three. One, two, three. Stay champs. In the weight room at Rockwall High, he's just one of 65 players trying to find that edge, getting a little bit bigger and better. But on the football field, Jackson Smith and Jigba stands out in a big way. He's closing in on 280 career catches and over 5,000 yards, which are both third all time in the state of Texas. He's also nearing 60 touchdowns, which ranks fourth all time in Texas. And when it comes to big games, Jackson shines his brightest on the biggest stages. He is a baller. John Wooden described competitive greatness as giving your best when your best is needed. And the thing that stands out about Jackson is that in every big game, he gives his best when his best is needed. I don't know what's going to happen, and that's what I think pushes me. The unexpected pushes me because, you know, I want to be I want to be great so badly, but um, I never know. I, I don't I don't go into the game thinking I'm just going to take over. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just go out there and I play my hardest, and you know, good, uh, great things happen. Great things have happened for Mata Smith and Jigba's sons since they started playing sports. Jackson's older brother, Kanan, was the starting quarterback at Rockwall Heath until he realized baseball was his calling. Now, Kanan is in the Yankees farm system and has been a constant source of motivation for his younger brother. We've always talked about, you know, us being at the top together and, you know, he's, he's almost there and hopefully I can get there and that would be awesome for, you know, us and our family. They've always competed uh, against each other, you know, and no matter what, I don't know if you can if you can compare home runs to touchdowns or whatever, but they'll, they'll find a way to, to, to get their stats out and, and, and rub it in each other's face. At six foot one, Jackson is not a particularly tall receiver. And though he has amazing lateral quickness, he's typically not even the fastest guy in the field. But yet he might be the most dominant wideout that has ever come through North Texas. Why? Because he makes the hard catches seem routine and his hands are second to none. It's gotten to the point now where he'll make the catch in a game and honestly, we're, we're a little bit uh, underwhelmed by it on the sidelines because we've seen it so much. The crowd's going nuts and reporters are talking about it and everything. I think, well, I've seen that about 100 times in practice. When it's on the field, I don't, I don't have too many friends. The only friends I have are the, the 10 other that are with me on the field. Uh, everyone else, um, I'm, I'm, I'm in attack mode and I'm ready to get after it. The Ohio State recruit will graduate in December and head to Columbus then. But before that, he's hoping to lead the Jackets into uncharted territory, a state semifinal game, and after that, a state title. If that's not enough motivation, his dad has added a little more as well. We have a money chart, and for every yard he gets for a big game, like the Martin game, Highland Park, Longview, he gets so much money per yard, per catch. Everything doubles in the fourth quarter to take the lead. So those are the, I think he, he likes money, so he's playing for money. It's not even about the money, it's just, you know, just to see them happy. Um, you know, that's all uh, it really is, just, you know, seeing my family happy, seeing them happy for me, you know, that's that's the real blessing. And when Mata was asked about how Jackson's 15-catch, 252-yard, five-touchdown performance against Allen affected the money chart. Let's just have painted installments right now. 